Hey guys, Andy here with Precision, and today I literally just got back from picking up a new optic for my shotgun. Um, specifically, I have a Benelli M4. Um, nothing really super special about it, other than the fact that it's a Benelli M4. Um, great shotgun. I'll give you guys a real quick rundown on it here. Um, for it, I got a Trigicon SRO to go on top of it and I'll show you guys a little bit as to why I went with that optic and how to install it and some of the other modifications you need to do to this gun in order to use that sight. So stick around. All right guys, so here she is, the Benelli M4. Um, great shotgun, uh, I absolutely love it. Fell in love with this gun as soon as I knew what it was. However, um, there's a couple of things lacking on it. Number one, from the factory, it only comes with five round two. That's for the 922R compliance. Um, I've already switched it out to a seven round. So now this gun, and it'll be a whole nother video, can now hold uh, a total of nine rounds. So seven in the tube, one in the chamber, and then one with ghost, ghost loading. Um, other than that, I just want the standard stock. I know I'm gonna be swapping that out to something else, so I didn't wanna wait around or pay extra for the Scouts Nice stock. Um, but anyway, so getting back to the optic, I picked up a Trigicon SRO and as you guys can see it was 550 uh, obviously plus tax out the door long range archery and firearms excellent guys out of Holland Michigan um, I get all my stuff from them great group of guys and uh, yeah can't really say enough about them but anyway so this is the first time I've actually opened up this box we're gonna see what's in here um, okay so here's the SRO optic as you can tell obviously rounded it's just a reflex sight. Um, obviously, it is a Trigicon. Mo like most other Trigicons, here's the, the power down and the power up. We've obviously got, uh, uh, looks like elevation is right there. And there, there we go, there's our windage on it. Um, it just gets bolted, uh, or I'm sorry, screwed through those two holes right there. Um, I guess let's take a look. They have this actually in three different styles. Or, uh, three different uh, patterns, I guess. This is a 2.5 MOA dot. They also have a one and a five. I want 2.5, it's for a shotgun. It's not gonna be precision by any means. Um, it was also in stock, whereas right now it's kind of difficult to find them. Um, and then other than that, yeah, it's, it's just kind of the happy medium. I don't want anything that's obviously going to blind me as I'm shooting it. However, at the same time, I, like I said, I want something that in the middle of the night, if I need to, I can, I can pop it open pretty quick and pick it up. Um, also inside this box, I know there's supposed to be manuals. My guess is that it's underneath here. Hey, I was actually right for a change. Uh, looks like we got a sticker, uh, screws, and an Allen key. Uh, we actually won't be using these screws, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, uh, looks like a little catalog of other optics that they have. Obviously, as you guys know, Trigicon is high quality stuff. Um, Looks like a little user manual. I have to dig into that a little bit more, figure out maybe battery life and, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, the, looks like maybe a warranty card. Uh, no, just thank you for your purchase. Registered online, lifetime limited warranty. Um, so yeah. And then it looks like an extra battery. Um, there's obviously being able to turn this one on already. I would assume there's already a battery in there. Um, the bottom on this one is solid, and it looks like I'll have to unscrew. Hopefully, I can get some lighting in there. Looks like that probably unscrews, and the battery would pop into there. So, um, anyway, from the factory, I guess that's the that's the optic. From the factory, from the shotgun, um, we actually cannot mount that optic, and the reason for that is because from the factory, the Benelli M4 comes with a standard Picatinny rail. Um, Real easy to pop off, a little bit of Loctite on uh, five screws, flathead screws, um, I actually saved them, put them right there just in case I wanna swap this back for whatever reason. Um, yeah, not much else to say, just a chunk of aluminum. So what I ended up going with, after you unscrew that, you can put on this really nice Scalar Works sink. Um, this is literally just a, a replacement plate adapter, mount, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and it literally just bolts right into the exact same places. It went on extremely easily, um, kind of the steps. So I remove that rail with those five screws. There are two hidden screws inside of here. 
um, that you put those into the rail first, pop this plate on, slide it back. They're kind of like keyhole slots, just like you would use, say, on a picture frame on a wall. Um, once that's pulled back, this screw hole and this screw hole are then, uh, then exposed, so you can put those two screws in to really lock everything down. The fifth hole that would have been left over from that rail, they say just leave it open. Um, it's obviously not exposed to anything. Don't really have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, that was a Scalar Works. Extremely nice finish on there. Um, you know, there's no gaps. It is a very solid piece of aluminum. Uh, really nice finish that's on there. And yeah, again, not really much else to say about it. It is, uh, they do make different uh, sink is what they call it. They do have different models. This is for Benelli M4, obviously, as well as their M2, and it has an RMR mount. Now, the SRO uh, optic that we have uses the same bolt pattern as the RMR, so this will work for that. Um, the reason I went with the SRO rather than the RMR is because, as a lot of you guys know, the RMR actually has more of a flat top and or kind of goes down a little bit. This is just a little bit bigger picture that's that's obvious excuse me obviously inside that optic so um if i was doing something like concealed carry i'd probably still go with the rmr or the uh i believe it's called the rmr cc which is a little bit smaller but i'm obviously not going to conceal carry this thing i just i want to be able to see everything nice and clear so with that being said i think the next thing is probably actually mount that optic to this gun um, now I said that we're not going to be using these screws and the reason for that is because I believe that these screws are a little bit longer than what Scalar Works actually sends. Um, obviously Scalar Works was the one that developed this mount and so I'm going to trust their fasteners uh, more so than Trigicon's more universal style. Um, should be the same thread pattern, I'm not really that worried about any of that. Um, now the reason that I went with this mount, if you look down the optic we'll see if we can actually pick this up here um b maybe hopefully let's see here right about there it's not, it's got a really nice ghost ring set up um however if you try to mount anything on top of the picatinny rail these ghost rings are absolutely worthless um everything gets blocked and it's you know like i said they're kind of worthless so in order to use your quote-unquote backup ghost ring sites you actually have to remove your optic um, obviously in a an emergency scenario that's not ideal so with that um, i'll show you guys after i mount it but from what i understand this sro and scalar works plate should line up perfectly and i should be able to essentially co-witness these um, so we'll see how that turns out here in a minute but anyway let me get the uh the camera rearranged here and i'll show you guys how we're going to mount it All right, so hopefully you guys can stay, or at least the gun can stay in, in frame here while I do this. I'm gonna get these extra parts out of the way simply because I know we're not gonna be using them. Um, the Scalar Works kit comes with the these two screws here, as well as the two screws underneath, and these two screws. Now these two screws are the ones that actually mount the, the optic to the plate. Um, it also came with the fourth pouch, which just happened to have this nifty little T10 uh, Torx bit that that goes in there. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty self-explanatory. So we're just gonna rip this open. Can pull these two screws out of here. Hopefully not lose them. One of the reasons I like to use a a nice large light-colored workbench, especially with dark fasteners. Um, take this guy now. As a lot of you guys know, there are, on all these RMR mounts um, from just about everybody, they actually have these two indexing posts that pop up here. And there's two correlating uh, indexing holes on the bottom of these sites. So we just drop that on there. And then, yep, sure enough, it's almost like it was made to do this. Drop that screw in there. Gently get it started so we don't cross thread anything. I don't care what anybody says. Cross threading is not free Loctite. Um, and these screws actually from Scalarworks and the ones from Trigicon both come with uh, pre-applied Loctite. Um, really don't need to go super tight. 
with these. Um, I believe it's actually 15 inch pounds is the is what they recommend. Um, it's a shotgun, so again, just kind of want to make sure it's nice and snug. Um, so yeah, so that was it. As you can tell, extremely uh, difficult for anyone to do. Um, obviously not really, as long as you know how to operate a screwdriver, you should be pretty okay. Uh, so yeah, so let's take a look and see how this actually looks uh, through the optic. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a quick look here. So here we go, guys. Um, as you can tell, looking through this, hopefully, again, if I can get the camera to cooperate here, uh, I can see the red dot. I can see both optics. I can see the, I'm sorry, the rear and the front iron sights, ghost rings. Um, now, I'm not even going to pretend to say that this instantly is sighted in. Um, you know, that it's actually co-witness. I can obviously line up the red dot and the the optics, um, you know, but God only knows if that's actually where the, where the rounds are going to hit. So, um, yeah, I'm going to obviously take this out to the range. Hopefully we can get it patterned, uh, get everything sighted in, but yeah, so far so good. I'm really happy with it. Um, now just a little bit of information on this site. This is actually like medium, uh, intensity. I can actually crank this thing up quite a ways um, nice and bright however from just being human in nature if my eyes are closed in the middle of the night and I go to pick this thing up for whatever reason um, I don't really want to be blinded so I'm actually I'm probably gonna leave it about the medium setting um, I might bump it up a little bit brighter during the day you know if I'm out at the range or whatever but for just normally just sitting there um, I think that's pretty good so, yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, as always, just make a comment down below. And uh, hopefully this brings you guys some value. So, thanks. Talk to you guys later.